I haven't opposed your view or your book, I haven't read it. On the contrary, I'm curious about it. I respect and love everyone, but I don't have any big respect for any thoughts, not even those who is assembled in my mind. Here and I see, lies the issue where you are interpreting me, as attacking you, you are a Libra sun. Libra is cardinal air, a sign where Venus rules. Venus is our values, such as self-worth. As a day sign, masculine energy, outwards focused, young, Venus in Libra initiates relationships based on what the individual considers himself in lack of, something that he think can gain by connecting with others. These resources are actually already present inside of him. But Libra is the first sign after the fall, a fall into division and separation. Into the battlefield, a fall onto the dance floor of the puppeteer. The upper half of the zodiac deals with the social life. Saturn is exalted in Libra. Capricorn is the center point of the upper half of the zodiac, a point where everyone in the public life gravitate towards to find themselves, to find their ideals, in the limelight. Saturn rules Capricorn, he sows the goat seeds, eaten by those who wants to climb. The goat is a climber. I disrespect air, and that is my soul slash spirit, fire, who's opposing its own shadow, air, to end this age of Pisces, to make humanity reunite with source and get liberated from all air conditioning, that originated with Saturn who distorts everything he touches. The collective is the beast, a herd mentality, a hard mentality. Saturn cult have utilized the weaknesses found in humans' emotions, not realizing that these are also its greatest strength, what differs us from the more simple machines. Uranus is speaking through me, and he says fu ego slash wago. Fire, Uranus is fixed air, dealing with a conflict inside of himself. The thoughts he shares are conclusions slash the peak of ideas which met themselves and was thrown overboard. They are only temporary truths, dancing in the now, on its way towards nothingness. Uranus is an expression of a crisis that originates with Pluto in Scorpio, fixed water. Pluto is transmutation, phoenix, the firebird, weaving together opposites, which dies in the abyss, is reborn and expressed with Uranus, to finally return back to the sea in Pisces, Neptune, feminine watery Jupiter, where surrender is the only option left since this is the end of the zodiac, describing an energy that is exhausted by emptying his inner, his fire, onto a journey, that gave him experience, called wisdom. The wisdom in Pisces says that everything is one, and that you're actually not in control of anything that happens. What you are in control of is how you choose to respond to that which happens, your attitude towards that which comes to you. Your life is scripted. It is assembled in a hierarchical blend of the elements, to a unified story where every detail is interconnected with the totality. The so-called reality is a dream, though real. But what is truly real are your experiences. When you identify with the public arena, the limelight of Saturn, the theater, the battlefield of social interaction with others, though there are no others, is the effectual dimension, the manifest slash actual, where all are actors, while the inner life, the lower half of the zodiac, is the dimension of cause, where you are an author, here is only potential. On the inside you are free, on the outside you are bound by rigid structures, causal laws. On the inside there is flow, on the outside there is control. Every choice you make seem to open doors for you, what you don't see is that by choosing the manifest slash actual, you empty your potential and you don't see all doors left behind you, doors that are no longer available to you. Matthew 16 verse 26, what does it gain a man to win the world, yet forfeit his soul? Wisdom, water is cyclical, while air is linear. I find nothing of value in the linear. As Nietzsche said everything linear is a lie. Jupiter brings you your truth, allows you to understand your soul, seen through the lens of eternity, through cosmos. This is the big reason why you have been conditioned to become left brain biased, to believe in air slash concepts, why you were forced to use your right hand for writing, since our brain hemispheres are cross connected, our left brain hemisphere is the hard, ruling the right side of the body, dealing with the ego, the masculine, that is strong and hard but stupid. We live in the land of the blind, where the one eyed monster is king. The patriarchate slash Saturn cult that is responsible for your air conditioning, the division inside of you that made you search for everything of value outside of yourself, while consciousness itself is Neptune, water, emotions, source, which has been available on your inside all the time, and where air slash thoughts has has taken over the holistic function of fire slash vision and replaced it with the false light, gaslighting, 